Hey everybody, Matthew Morris, MM with you. Today is Monday, July 2nd, and it's time for another shop update. So one of the first things I did this week was I needed to cut the mortises in the rail, the top and bottom sections. So after marking everything out, I headed over to the mortiser and with a 3 8 inch mortise tape bit, yeah, I think that's what it was. It's the first time I think I've ever used outfeed support for uh, the mortiser. And the reason for that was, well, these parts for the mirror are just so long. They're five and a half feet long for the top and the bottom. So um, that was kind of funny. Cut my mortises and then it was time to cut some tenons. So I use my table saw to cut the cheeks of the tenons, the outer edges. And I do that with an alternate tooth bevel blade. And I know that my setup is square. The fence is square to the table. The blade is square to the table and the fence. And the miter gauge I use is square to the fence. Now I did this so it was just a little bit deeper than the depth that I would need for the final tenons. Then I used a box joint blade instead of a dado blade because it gives a much nicer surface on my tenons and I cut slowly bringing up the height for just the one side which was the part that aligns the, the vertical piece with the back. Now once I had that cut I flipped my piece over and I tried my test piece out and that setting was just a little bit too deep. So I had to bring the blade down and then work my way back up. And I did not get at the table saw a fit. The next thing I did was I transferred my lines that I drew on the horizontal pieces to the vertical pieces where I would need to go to the band saw to cut the cheeks or the sides off of the tenons. And then I got my blade really close to the edge of the outer wall and then came back over to the bench and just cleaned that up. Got that little bit of material uh, and paired that away. Remember I used a box joint blade instead of a dado stack to cut the tenons and that really smooth surface, I don't need to clean that up. On the other side, I brought down slowly the thickness of the tenon so that it would fit and I got that, that fit I wanted which was almost or perfectly in parallel with the back before I took the, the frame and the mirror apart to draw some lines for the depth of my rabbit, um, both in and then the height of the rabbit as well. And once that was all drawn, I went over to the router and I started making my passes. Now I did this very slowly. I first went for the depth, got that nailed, and then I started for the height. And this way I have one axis done, I don't have to worry about that. And I can slowly move up and as I slowly move up, um, I get a really nice crisp cut and that gives me a nice, really nice crisp edge to my rabbit. So with that, I had to clean up the ends just a little bit because they're not square when you're using a round bit, right? So a little bit of chisel work, um, a marking knife, and a little bit of patience and I squared up those edges and those look great. So that's pretty much what happened here in the shop this week. Uh, my goal for this coming week is to start to shape all these parts and get them ready uh, for eventually gluing up. So I got a shape for the frame, the top part, there's a little bit of shaping on the bottom, and then for the mirror, there's a lot of shaping here up on the top, but I'll share that with you guys next week. What did you guys do this week? I want to know as always, please leave that in the comments below. I really dig that. I always say that, but I really do. I like, oh, that sounds great. You know, maybe I'll ask a question or two, and I really love doing that. Now, the other thing I want to ask you guys to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and share this with your friends. Now, if you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share your timeline, and head over to the MMOCO page and like us there as well. And as always, always have a great week in your shop.